Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with a monthly favorites video. I love these videos and I've decided I want to start doing them on my channel. So this is my January favorites video. I only have a couple of actual physical beauty products that I'm going to talk about. Other than that, I have a couple like beauty resources and then a Netflix show and then a YouTuber and then kind of like a YouTube genre I want to talk about. I may be missing something, but anyway, we're going to get into all that right now. So I'm going to talk about the actual physical beauty things first. If you've been watching me recently, you are not surprised. They're the Design Me Puff Me Shampoo and Conditioner. These are amazing. They make my hair look so good. They are a volumizing shampoo and conditioner and they smell like jasmine and baby powder combined and I didn't really actually know what to think of the smell at first but I love it every time I use it I am just so happy with the way my hair smells basically until I need to wash it again and also this is the first shampoo and conditioner set where I really felt like my hairstyle starts with my shampoo and conditioner I've kind of heard that before but this is the first time I've really felt that and felt like it was true. I've definitely had some shampoo and conditioners ruin my hairstyle, but never before have I felt like a shampoo and conditioner was the reason that I was set up for a great hair. So these are wonderful. I have a feeling, no, I know that I will be going on a volumizing hair product kick after this, realizing how well it worked for me. I have curly hair that's really fluffy already, so I never thought of using volumizing hair products, but I think it actually really, really works for me. And I am super excited to have discovered these. So that's my first thing. I got these from FabFitFun sale. We have one opening here soon, and I hope they're available in that sale because this is definitely a repurchase for me. And these, I will be sad when I run out. And then the next beauty product that I want to include is this. It's the Kitsch Satin Scrunchie. And I had talked about these in a video already too, but I was really, really surprised to like these so much. I have tried the satin pillowcase, which everybody says you need to try and it's good for your skin and your hair and it's all right. And then I also decided to give these a try. These are so wonderful. I mentioned that I had been using like the Invisibobble type hair ties and these are fine. These are great. I mean, they're okay. They're better than the traditional elastics is how I described it, but this is really, really wonderful. It's the perfect size. I will link these specific ones in the description box below. I am really surprised. These have become my go-to hair ties, scrunchies. I'm into it. There's a reason they were so popular before, I guess, and I'm glad that they're back. I am. I should buy another set just in case they disappear again. Okay, so moving on from actual beauty products, the next website I want to talk to you about is called Foundation. So I have been trying different foundations different tinted moisturizers, different primers. I've just been wanting to explore that for myself. I've never really used those products before and something that I've discovered is foundation.com. I will try to put like a screenshot here. If it won't work, it'll be over my entire face, but I want to show you a little bit of the website. It's not the prettiest, most attractive website and it really doesn't need to be because what they have done is they have indexed every single foundation foundation and shade discontinued or not and they have made it so that you can search for your shade in a different foundation that you want to try and the way you do that is you enter in one foundation that you know works for you and matches your skin tone and then ideally you enter a second foundation that you know works for you and matches your skin tone and then you put in the foundation that you are searching for your shade in and it will tell you which shade you should try from that line and it is amazing. It has been spot on with every single foundation I have wanted to try. I am so excited to have discovered this. I actually, here's another favorite. She's not a January favorite. I discovered her when I first started getting into the world of YouTube. She was one of the first ones that I started watching and it's Brittany Besser. And she did, a, I think it was a beauty hacks video. I highly recommend her channel. I'll link her down below. And she recommended this website. So I wanna give a shout out to her. So if you are looking for your shade in a foundation, I feel like I can guarantee you that it will be on this website. Somebody went to the effort of indexing all of these foundations and 
all of these shades and it is incredible so you're welcome and now the next thing I want to tell you about is Brandify and this is actually an app and you can go on there and you can search for dupes so it is a team of beauty experts let's see what they call themselves let's go to the about us we started with a vision to help people find great beauty alternatives that work for their needs here, beauty enthusiasts can help each other discover when the $8 mascara really is as good as the $36 mascara and when it is worth it to pay up. Looking for a cruelty-free alternative or a clean art alternative? We're on it. Our beauty gurus compare products side by side to tell you when a less expensive product feels, smells, and functions the same. We also report on ingredients. Brandify is on a mission to help beauty enthusiasts see beyond the label. Fun fact, our founder cashed out of a retirement account to start this biz, so definitely go support her. Wow, that's quite a gamble. So we aren't kidding when we say we want feedback, both the good and the criticism. So that's the About Us, and you can go to their homepage, and you can search by category, skin concerns, skin type, skin care, face, eye, lip, cheek, tools, other hair care. You can also go to the top, and you can see they have different kinds of articles featuring different categories of things, products that don't compare so these are products that basically they don't feel have dupes at least not yet they haven't been able to find dupes for yet you can look here and they support black owned beauty brands and cruelty free faves so you can go here and you can look for cruelty free dupes to some of your favorite products so wander beauty glow ahead illuminating face oil versus the supernova celestial skin elixir by flower beauty so that's $42 versus $16 and then if you click on it you can see that there's a rate it's a dupe score so this has a 74% dupe score rating and then you can look at how it's calculated the overall similarity rating tells you how similar the alternative is to the prestige product our beauty gurus conduct real side-by-side -side reviews of the prestige and alternative products these products are scored based on how similar they are across key factors like consistency smell and wear time when the overall similarity bar is green our beauty guru has determined that these two products are extremely similar save your money girl when it is red the two products are not similar but we still suggest you read the written review because sometimes our reviewer preferred the alternative of course sometimes the product is a dud a yellow bar means the products have some similarities and some noticeable differences so definitely check the dupe score and then if you scroll down there are reviews from actual users of the app and their beauty gurus so they call them I guess they are the team that works for Brandify so you can search all kinds of products here we have a flower beauty versus it cosmetics essence versus Laura Mercier so this is a super fun app if you love to explore dupes highly highly recommend it also, if you're a subscription box person, they have one. I'm on the wait list for it, and I've been on the wait list for a while. It is a quarterly subscription box. It is $15 per quarter. I can't remember if you need to pay shipping or not. I will put that across the screen and let you know. I will look it up. And I am excited for the day when I am no longer on the wait list for it. And now the next thing I want to talk to you about is a Netflix show. If you are between the ages of 30 and, I don't know, I want to say like 60, this might really, really resonate with you it is Cobra Kai on Netflix and that is the resurrection of the Karate Kid series and it is so surprisingly amazing I did not expect it at all when I first watched it getting through the first few episodes was really kind of tough you could tell that the actors hadn't acted in a while and they were kind of getting back on their feet again but it was still so intriguing because I was a fan of the Karate Kid franchise when I was a child and the story is so amazingly captivating once you get past those first few episodes, every single episode had a cliffhanger. I couldn't stop watching. I would watch three or four at a time, stay way past my bedtime, and I couldn't believe it too because it's kind of about high school kids, but it is also still about the rivalry between Danny and Johnny from Karate Kid Part 1. It was just so fun to watch. I think I finished each season within a couple of days. They are 10 episodes each, and I was so surprised to get so into it because it really does center around high school kids, and I am a 38-year-old woman, so I kind of felt a little strange about that. I 
I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to give you any spoilers, but if you have Netflix and you had a fondness for the Karate Kid movies, then I think that this would be a show that you would really, really enjoy. I loved it. And then the last thing I want to tell you about is a YouTuber that I have been watching lately, and not just the YouTuber, but the type of video that she is doing. Her name is Jamie French, and her channel's really, really grown over the past couple of years. She's doing a great job. She's really, really funny, so I do recommend her in general. General, but she has been doing this series called Makeup and Movies where she reviews movies while doing her makeup, specifically really bad 90s movies. So if you, again, if you are my age-ish, then you would really, really like this series. And even if you aren't and you love joking about a good, bad movie, bad, good movie, you know what I mean, and you love watching people do their makeup, then this would be a really an entertaining series for you to watch as well. I have been loving it. And then in one of her videos, she gave a shout out to the people who inspired her to do this type of thing. I think that the person who started this whole trend is Bailey Sarian and she does Makeup Murder Mystery Mondays and she is amazing at storytelling. I can't believe how well she's able to communicate to the camera and tell us a story and do an amazing makeup job at the same time it's out of this world anyway so she's amazing too so I didn't want to just give a shout out to Jamie French I wanted to give it a shout out to this whole kind of concept and then I also wanted to mention that I have been very inspired to try it myself so be on the lookout for something similar from me I won't tell you too much here I definitely have some ideas going with what kind of videos I would want to do I have been really inspired by this idea and I would like to try it and so like I said be on the lookout for that I hope this was fun for you. It was fun for me to do something kind of different and I hope to continue doing monthly videos on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!